welcome back, uh, welcome to part 3 of my bite size asterisk 1.8 LTS with HD voice and busy lamp field tutorial. My name is Alan Goodman and if you've not seen the other two parts of the video you should probably go back and start from the beginning because otherwise stuff might not make any sense. So this part encompasses basically obtaining and installing asterisk. So the first task is to obtain asterisk. You can do that from www.asterisk.org. www.asterisk.org If you go to downloads uh, If you look for production releases long term support source table uh, if you right click on it whoops right click on it and copy link location okay so as I recommended doing earlier on uh, you should probably do the rest of the installation remotely to the box using SSH uh, in my case I'm going to log in as root but of course if you're going to be doing security properly, you should ensure that you don't allow root, etc, etc, etc. But mine's not exposed to the internet, and as I said before, do as I say, not as I do. But Bear with me, we have some slight technical issues. So, uh, lesson one for Alan is ensure that the network cable is plugged in properly. So uh, just to recap while I wait for this to log in, you should um, at this point have the address of the source table for asterisk copied to your clipboard. And it's taking forever, so something must be wrong. So once you've logged into your box using the super secure password that we set earlier on, you want to double you get and then paste in that address. It will take a few moments to download depending on the speed of your internet connection. My internet's fairly fast but the uh, the download server isn't always that brilliant so your mileage may vary. Once the file is downloaded, if you execute tar-zxf asterisk and then press tab, you should get asterisk 1.8 all filled in for you. Press the enter key. Then cd into the asterisk directory. Oops, click on the right button, Alan. Uh, 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 presentation. So the next task will be to configure your asterisk installation. So to do this you'll want to type dot forward slash configure. Wait for this to run through all the uh, pre-go sanity checks and what have you. It will take a few moments depending on your system. If everything's worked correctly, it should be dumped out to uh, the end of it should look a bit like this. Uh, then you do make menu select. Gives you a nice text user interface which you can use for selecting all sorts of different options. I'm only going to do a few basic ones. You want to 
select some pardon me, additional codecs for uh, sounds. So if you go down to core sounds packages, you want WAV. I like to take ULOR, ALOR, GSM, G729, and G722. Um, these are the American English ones. If you're English like me, you'll probably want to just choose from a little bit further down ENAU, which is a nice um, Australian version, which is more appropriate for UK. So you've got WAV, ULOR, ALOR, GSM, G729, and G722, uh, G722 being wideband. If you press escape, come out of that, go into music on hold packages. You want again ULOR, ALOR, GSM, 729, and 222, G722, and extra sounds. I like to install again if it's if you're American, it'll be EN, um, and they don't have any Australian ones of this side. So don't know why I didn't remember that, but again, I would take WAV, ULOR, ALOR, GSM, 729, and G722. And that's about it, there's nothing else to change for a basic installation like this. Uh, so if you press escape when you're done, it says I want to sure. It appears you've made some changes. Um, press yes, sorry, press S to save your settings. That'll dump you out to this screen here. You're now ready to compile your asterisk install. So to do that, make dash J2 or dash J the number of cores in your box and press enter this is going to take quite a while and probably at least half an hour or so so go and grab yourself a cup of coffee and then come back, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back once it's finished ok so once the compile has finished, if everything went uh, to plan, it should say asterisk build is complete you want to do make install as it suggests. You'll need to run that as root if you did the compile as any other user. Uh, in Ubuntu, that would mean sudo make install. This will take a few moments because it's going to download those sound packs from Digium. So I'm going to pause the video while that occurs. Okay, if that completes successfully you should be presented with a screen like this I would recommend that you make samples and then make prog docs again depending on your system this is going to take a few moments I'll be back once it's completed. Once that's completed, you should be taken back out to the prompt. So by this point you should have your asterisk install all installed and configured. Um, you'll want to set asterisk to start at boot. Now the way you do that is if you nano slash s rc dot local this is the script which is ran after all the other init scripts on the system in here if you type asterisk on the word above touch via lock subsys local that should be all you need to do control x yes to save and enter. And before we get on to part four, which will be starting the configuration process, we're going to want to just move some of the example configurations out of the way because we don't need them. At least I don't here. So we're going to move s asterisk sip.conf s asterisk 
dot space s asterisk zip dot conf dot orig. I'm going to do the same for extensions dot conf. And lastly, but not leastly, Etsy asterisk extensions dot AEL. I'm going to put that in Etsy asterisk extensions dot AEL dot orig. Right, next part will be section four or part three. Four, and that will be creating your sip.com file. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next part.